I mean, she's honest with you, man. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my current curly hair routine. What I do to get my curls to be popping for all of my wigs, showing you some of my favorite curly hair products and tools to help define and detangle my curly wigs. The wig I'm gonna be working with today is from Curly Me Hair Company. They sent me their Water Wave Unit, 30 inches, 200% density, and it was a 13 by four frontal. With that said, let's get right into today's video. This is how the hair was looking freshly after I just installed it. I hadn't defined the curls yet. And the first thing I like to do when my hair is like fresh out of the box, I like to go in with a wide tooth comb and just brush out that old curl pattern or like the manufactured curl pattern it goes in. And kind of also doing this stuff, brushing it through helps making the detangling and the defining process a lot easier. Once I have brushed throughout the hair and brushed out all the tangles and the hair feels nice and easy to work with, I'm going in with a spray bottle with just plain water and I'm going in section by section to make sure I'm saturating each strand of hair with water. Especially for like the first time you're detangling your hair out of the pack, you want to make sure you get the hair nice and wet because the wetness is going to help those like really nice curl patterns promote and form. Now that I've drenched the hair with water, I'm going in with this, I call it like a like a comb and brush hybrid. I got this from Amazon, and I love using this to brush and detangle throughout my curls. It really helps detangle the hair one, and it really helps bring out the curl pattern a lot better. So I just go in with this brush and just start brushing it and scooping the hair through. The key to really get the curls to form nicely is to really focus on brushing and scooping the curls through the brush and scrunching a lot. Like as you can see right here, I'm really like brushing and scooping those curls through and I'm doing a lot of scrunching at the same time just to keep helping the hair form that nice ringlet pattern. Since this hair is big and long, it's best for me to work in sections because I want to make sure I'm saturating each piece of hair with water. You don't want any like fluff, fluffy, fuzzy pieces. Everything needs to be properly saturated with water so when you're brushing it, the curls will form properly. If it's like dry and fluffy, once it dry, you will have like a lot of frizz and you're not getting those nice clumped together defined curls forming. Next, I'm going in with this Camille Rose Moisture Milk. It is a leave-in conditioner. I used to put leave-in conditioner in my spray bottle, shake it up, and then spray that into my hair, but I've learned leaving that leave-in conditioner in your spray bottle can cause you to get mold over time, which will destroy your curly hair. So I just like to put a little bit, pea size amount in my hand for each section and really work work it on the ends mainly to help the hair be nice and moisturized because the frizz really just comes from dryness, and this helps help the hair retain the moisture and it helps the curls just look a lot more shinier and softer and it smells really good so once I've brushed that into the hair I'm going in again and rebrushing the hair to help get those curls to form again Now that I'm done combing it through and brushing through the hair, I like to let the hair like air dry about to like 50% before I start doing any extra like styling and defining. You wanna let it air dry just like this. Do not run your hands through it. Do not like try to like separate the curls or anything. I literally just let it air dry together in this clumped form. This is how the hair is looking about halfway dry through and I'm just now going ahead and flipping the hair around and just separating the hair and kind of just placing this hair in the style that I want it to be. I like doing this in the, like the middle mark of the hair being dry. I don't wait for it to be too dry to do this because when I do this when it's really dry, it's gonna get the hair really frizzy and I have to go back and start 
restyling everything. So I like it when it's a bit wet and a bit dry because restyling it and re calming down the curls is not that big of a deal. Next, I'm just going in and trimming the ends off and just cutting everything. I love a blunt cut on my curly hair. It just makes the ends look a lot more neater and clean and put together. And the curls just clump better and will like form ringlets better when the ends are fully thick at the end. I like using this ORS mousse. It's my recent favorite mousse product one because it's super affordable versus the Nairobi mousse I used to use and this one, it doesn't leave the hair super crunchy and also has like a nice scent to the hair. And I like to use this mousse to help refix all the frizzy parts that got frizzy from the earlier styling of me just like putting the hair the way I wanted it to be put. And then I, when I'm using the mousse, I like it to smooth over each strand of hair and I'm going in again and just doing a nice little scrunching. This kind of just helps seal in the curl pattern without making it too frizzy. I like going in and adding some finger coils mainly towards the end because this is a water wave texture so I don't want to add too many tight finger coils into it. It's going to make it look just really tight and it's going to be very obvious that I finger coiled the hair because this hair pattern isn't that kinky or tight. So I just add a couple here and there to just help define the piece. Here's a little before and after. As you can see this side is nicely done and defined and it's going to dry perfectly versus the other side that's like still frizzy and just not as defined is going to dry in that normal big texture. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera and show you guys the finished results when everything is nice and dry. And here's how the curls were looking once the hair has fully air dried. As you can see, everything is nice, defined, and juicy. I like to go in and always like scrunch the hair a little bit just to help break the cast. Sometimes the mousse can leave. So give a little scrunch to help just break it out of the cast, but not too much of a scrunch, not make it too frizzy. But as you can see, everything is nice and defined without being too big, too poofy, and still keeping its shape and having some volume. If I want the hair to be a little bit bigger, I can like always like separate and run my fingers through it but since this hair is at a high density it's gonna get a lot bigger I don't want it to get bigger throughout the day so I kind of just left it in this style but yeah that is all I have for my current curly hair routine I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial hope to see you in another one make sure you like comment and subscribe and peace out Girl Scouts goodbye